Well, this happened, this has been going on for years. In the days after May's 40 murders, DPD knows there's another issue to discuss. They are short 670 officers. And our ability to, cry, to fight crime is, uh, is very low right now. Michael Mata is the president of the Dallas Police Association. He says problems started in 2010 under former Chief David Brown. After Brown moved forward with the hiring freeze, choosing to invest in crime-fighting technology over officers. Well, the problem is you can have the best technology in the world, but somebody still has to go out there and arrest that individual. But things got worse in 2016 due to a pension crisis. DPD lost nearly 450 officers that year alone. Cops concerned about a potential massive shortfall in pension funds. Our most experienced detectives, those 20, 25, 27-year tenured detectives, we're like, I got to get out now. So in the summer of 2016, the police kicked up recruiting, especially after five officers were murdered downtown during a protest. Get off that protest line and, and, and put an application in. The chief's brief appeal led to an uptick in applicants, but momentum slowed. The desire to serve the citizens of Dallas has not changed. Sheldon Smith is the National Black Police Association president and a DPD sergeant. He says Dallas just doesn't pay as much as other departments, and there's this. We're an older department now. By the end of the year, the department hopes to hire 230 more officers, but 240 are expected to retire. On top of all that, there's another issue everyone's talking about. Our morale is really bad now. Uh, and that's just being honest. I mean, don't ask me a question you don't want the answer to. A lack of confidence in Chief Hall and other leaders has some officers asking an important question. Why am I going to get up every day, put this vest on, and risk my life and my future with my family when nobody's going to back me? In Dallas, I'm Alex Rozier.